Hey there everyone, this is Ryan from Checkpoint Technical Support. Just going to make a quick video and show you how to set up group-based inventory. So in this example, we're going to say that we have a group activity of a maximum capacity of 10 people. So the way to set this up is we're going to set up two different uh, items. And I'll create an item called uh, resources. If you're dealing with physical inventory, like rooms or buses or anything with a capacity, sometimes it's helpful to use a resources category to manage your items. So for this, it's going to be a bus tour. So I'm going to say, I'm just going to label that as bus. We'll go to next. And here under attributes, we're going to set up a passenger's parameter. Uh, you could also call this inventory control or uh, bus capacity. Maybe that's a better assumed one, so we'll do bus capacity. So for this parameter, we're going to use hidden to all. We're going to make this parameter mandatory, and it's going to be, uh, won't have a price point or a price range, but it'll be mandatory. Uh, I will actually make it staff only so the staff can see how full the bus is. So we'll go here. The default value is going to be 1. <coughs> So then here's where we're going to set up the capacity of each bus. So this is 10. So we'll do an inventory of 10 representing the number of seats. And we'll just save that. Next, we'll go and create another item. And this one's going to be um, for, we'll put this under a tours category. And we'll call this a bus tour. In the attributes column, we're going to set it's unlimited because it's going to be managed by the inventory of the bus. See, if we have to attach two parameters, so I'm going to attach the adults parameter and the children's parameter. <clears throat> and here we're going to set the max, so we're going to set a minimum of one and a maximum of nine for the kids because there needs to be one adult and a maximum of ten in the event that uh, nothing but all adults want to be booked. Under this default, I'm just going to make sure everything's set up properly, so do a default value of 1, that's fine. And then under here, we're going to do, it'll have a price point, and it'll show the price range. It'll be mandatory, and it's linked to the item's inventory. So I'll save that. Looks like that. Okay. Put that back in. okay, so then the last step is we'll just go pricing, and we'll set the pricing here. So we'll set it for $20 for the adult and $10 for the kid transfer. We'll save that, and now we'll go into packages. And here's where we're going to do the customer the mapping. So we're just going to search that bus item that we made. <clears throat> and we're going to set this as a required and hidden add-on. We're going to use the parent dates. But when it comes to mapping, we're going to map both the children and adult parameters into the bus capacity. So this will add the two parameters to meet the capacity. So this way, you can have any combination of children and adults, with the exception of uh, you can't have 10 children. You have to have at least one adult in the booking. And we'll save and finish that. We can go to Tours. Let's go to that bus tour item. Under the Tours, you can select any combination up to 10 there. There's only 10 available. So you can see if I said 8 here, and this is the max of 10, you can see that there's only 10 available because it's being limited by the bus that we've attached it to. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any further questions, reach out to support at checkfront.com. And thanks for watching today. Have a great day.